Hello, I'm AX and in this video I'm going to show how to make a simple post process effect that's, that looks basically like a fisheye camera. It's really simple, so come along. So let's make our new material, fisheye. Inside the material, you're going to add a scene texture, post process input zero. We're going to add a screen position node a component mask, a add node, a parameter. I'm going to pick minus 0 0.05. We're going to add a subtract node over here, a multiply, another multiply, a new parameter. We're going to call it intensity. Plug it in here. I'm going to pick one plug in the add into the subtract. Now down here, we're going to close this and under the epic folder, and under the epic folder, you're going to search for the radial gradient uh, function. You're going to pick exponential. Now here, we're going to plug the output into a one minus node and into a switch parameter. I'm going to call it invert and plug it into the B here and plug the radial into the false. Okay. So for the A output, we're going to pick the mask. Let's move this back here. Plug in the add into the UVs. And we're going to make three new parameters, basically. The first one, I'm just going to keep it zero since it's the center position of the screen. We're going to make a new parameter called radius. I'm going to pick it in one and a second parameter called falloff. We're going to plug the radius into radius and the falloff into falloff. Make sure the falloff is one also. And that basically should be the entire setup for the post process camera. Lastly, I should have done that in the start. We're going to change the material domain of the material into a uh, post process. Okay, so I notice here that the, the screen is not working right here. That's because I messed up here. You have to put the component mask instead of the add right here in the end in the subtract. Then it should be looking pretty good. So if we go back here to the viewport, so back here in the viewport, we're going to make a instance of the fisheye I already have. So it should have all the parameters right here. So we're going to drag it into our post process material and bam, should have the fisheye effect in game and in the viewport. You can change the parameters like the fall off, like the intensity, the radius, and you can even invert it. So it's more of a lens distortion rather than a fish eye.